This is an introduction to null hypothesis and how it has been used in creating the videos on this channel. Null hypothesis is a scientific way of exploring propositions. A speculative statement is made that can be determined true or false. It is at first highly speculative. However, over time, the nature of the statements becomes far more specific. For example, in the Bible dating series, several propositions were made early. This is a list of the propositions that were made in the first video. These statements were further explored to determine whether or not they were true or false. With relative ease, some of these statements were eliminated very quickly. The second video removed the false statements and proposed other statements. Again, these statements were speculative, however, they were far more specific than the original statements. By the third video, even more propositions had been made, and more propositions were eliminated. This is the essence of how null hypothesis works. Over time, evidence is collected and propositions are proven true or false. Eventually, these propositions led to an overwhelming understanding of what is true and what is false. It is the nature of null hypothesis to be very vague and speculative at first, but to narrow that speculation down to very accurate statements. There is no monolithic overriding model. Statements are not forced to fit inside an overriding model. Null hypothesis does not care what the conclusion is. This is the advantage of null hypothesis. Even though it is highly speculative at first, it requires that the evidence be explored. The speculative propositions are eventually eliminated or substantiated. Another advantage of using null hypothesis, particularly on YouTube, is that the viewers will not allow the propositions to stand if they can be proven false. In other words, by doing this in public, the person making the propositions constantly leaves themselves open to other information. Since the result is not defending a model, YouTube is an excellent platform for the statements of null hypothesis. YouTube viewers can be extremely helpful in determining the nature of the statements. The feedback can be incredibly important. Eventually, after months of speculation using null hypothesis, an evidence-based model was located. Null hypothesis was used to attempt to eliminate the model and simply could not do it. The use of null hypothesis is messy. It leads to all kinds of dead ends and unsubstantiated speculation, but the amount of true and false statements eventually led to a defendable conclusion. This is how null hypothesis should be used. Null hypothesis is not here to support grand overriding assumptions. It is here to destroy assumptions. It is here to determine the nature of statements. In that sense, null hypothesis is extremely useful.